Welcome back everyone to Command Wolf Gaming. I'm CWG and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. That is right folks, we are playing some Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, today we're going to be uh, testing out some of the master of the spooks, the Grim Reaper himself. So today, we're all going to be doing that stuff. <laughs> so we didn't really get to experiment a lot with the, uh, the new spooky characters on the stream. And I just kind of want to reintroduce them uh, for those who didn't actually watch the stream or didn't participate in the stream. Um, obviously, we got a whole new faction other than the pirate faction, which don't get me wrong. The pirate faction is fun, but having a spooktacular faction is also great in itself. So, right off the bat, we got the Skeleton Warrior, Skeleton Archer, uh, the Candle Mage type thing, a Vampire. We also have a Pumpkin Catapult. Have anybody heard of Chunkin' Punking? Um, that's a general question. Uh, and we also have the Swordmaster and the Green Reaper himself. So... We're going to be experimenting with these guys a lot, and honestly, I think the Grim Reaper is the one we're going to probably be playing around with most of all. Especially because he has kind of like an auto-defense system, it's just like a weird thing that's actually kind of cool to watch, but also really, really destructive. So, uh, we are playing on one of the spooky maps that was uh, generated for us during the Halloween season, and as we can see here... It's pretty much just a retextured map. They didn't do much. They like made it dark, add, added pumpkins. And if we actually go back, I think it was like night medieval one or two. Yeah, as you can see, it's medieval one. All they did was took medieval one, right? And they just made it darker. And obviously this is nice and bright and cheerful. And there's only one spooky door over here with, I don't think there's anything in there as of yet. I haven't found that out yet. Um, so we're gonna go back to spooky one and actually we can go to spooky two and uh spooky two is just the dynasty uh faction and obviously they turned this bit around uh, made it a little bit more spooky so uh they removed the dynasty building because there was one right here and they turned the camera around so you're facing the giant jack-o-lantern over here so um i keep that reminds me so much of a Pokemon, and I can't remember, uh, like, Morrow, Marrow, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, if you guys know, put it, leave it down in the comment section. So, but we're going to be playing on Spooky 1. Alright, so now that we're back here at Spooky 1, we're going to start off with the Skeleton Warriors, right? And we're just going to face them off against uh, another batch of Skeleton Warriors. And let's see how this happens. Ooh. Okay, so they obviously can affect each other. This is a uh, maybe it's a fear factor, you know, like in a uh, majority of uh, like spooky or horror related games, you get kind of like a fear factor where um, you lose control of the character or whatnot, and you can't do anything else. Like, other, like I don't have any specials, so it must be like a auto default or anything on there. Let's let's just retry that again. Like, it seems like it automatically generates. And it... Yeah. It kills them. Um, because... Yep. Yeah. It, it looks like it just auto-generates because... Other than that, we only have a sword sh a strike and a shield strike. So, I don't think... Maybe it's... Okay, hold on. I gotta do this one-on-one. -on -one, uh, in order for this to make more sense. Uh, skeleton Warrior, Skeleton Warrior. And we can take control. Oh, okay, so it is, it seems like it is the special, which is the space bar. I thought it was like an auto-generate type thing. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, okay. Red winds. Oh, yeah. Do they still have the door down here? Let me see. Oh, okay, so the symbol is still here, so the door is still down there. I'm still waiting for them to pop something out of there. It's, it seems so cool to have that there. All right, enough with that. We're going to use the skeleton warrior now. Or a skeleton archer, excuse me. And uh, we're going to put him... You know what? We'll put him against the flintlocker. Right? We'll put that guy down there. 
skeleton archer over here. Let's see how this goes. I don't know if this guy has any special. I know, like, from this stream, I acknowledge that he shoots like a... Issue with skeleton warriors. Very weak against uh, anything. So maybe we should try... We'll do a shield bear. Right, actually, I'll take, uh, I'll do it like this. I'll switch this around, like so. And, uh... oh God, wow, okay. I, because I know these guys can set people on fire. Okay, so it's an auto-generated fire. Obviously, they're strong, but as in all totally accurate battle simulator games or maps, these guys <laughs> don't move. Accordingly, so um, that's interesting to see. Now we got the candle head. Now I don't know what these guys do. I don't understand what these guys do. They kind of have like a pushback effect or something to uh, to that matter. Like as you can see, I don't even is that. Oh, that is a lot of damage. Like that is. Okay, hold on. I I gotta see this against like a shoot bearer. Oh wait, I want to take over the shield bear. Okay, so no damn. That was uh, two shots. Okay, so let's try against a little something a little sturdier like a minotaur. I want to know how much damage this guy takes. Okay, so it's probably proportional to say that <laughs> oh, that was fun. Uh, it's probably easier to say that the candle uh, cannonmen are probably going to be uh, best against like you know weaker units like clubbers and spearmen, stuff like that. So like if we have two, I keep calling them candle mages or uh, but they're candle heads because they can like literally in two shots they they can kill somebody. But in the same effect, they go down like a sack of potatoes when they're hit. <laughs> Uh, so, okay, let's clear those guys off. Now, we got the vampires. Now, I did have a chance to play, uh, these guys on the stream a little bit. And I still don't understand, like, they have a vampire form, right? And I think, okay, okay, okay. Are they, is he gaining health again? Is that, or is it just me approaching? No, 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 no. Um, maybe just okay. So we gotta test this against one, uh, one v two, right? Because I want to see what happens when I gain damage, right? Seriously? Oh, I auto latched onto this guy. It's a wow. Okay, that was that was an auto latching mechanism. I didn't touch any buttons for that. So come on, hit me. Thank you. But I'm not gaining health again. It's just, I, I, okay. It, it seems like he has a, okay. So it looks like the vampire has an auto grab feature where as soon as it approaches the enemy troop, it automatically latches onto the troop. And uh, the only thing that he has is basically just gr the grabbing feature that we see on uh, the halflings. So. That makes it kind of significantly easier, but also significantly um, more terrifying. Okay, so we got a pumpkin uh, cannon, uh, not cannon, pumpkin thing here, catapult, right? And we're just gonna do it against a regular, we're gonna do a two deep formation here of hot plate, because this is generally what you would use it for. Ooh. I did see this during the stream. It has uh, ability to the pumpkins actually bounce. So let's try that again. Where in fact put the this guy a little further back. So the pumpkins do bounce, and it looks like it's auto loaded at least for the first shot. I can't take control of the pumpkin. So the pumpkin is like anything else. It's just a physical being that's in here. Um, such as, you know, a cannonball or a regular rock. But the in comparison, you know what? We can do this against 
because we do have a regular catapult that we can compare against, right? Aha! There we go. So the pumpkin has a uh, so it's a pumpkin has a nicer ability of bouncing. So if there's a lot of troops on the field, the pumpkin does do a lot more damage like that. And uh, apparently, this catapult probably has a higher health. Let's see about that. Just try that one more time. I would assume it's, it does have a lot more health because it looks like this is made up of uh, skeleton bones and stuff like that. So I could kind of see it being weaker. Yeah, it seems like it's weaker. <laughs> All right, so we're going to toss that off. So we also have the sword caster. Now, I've seen videos of this guy acting up already as a super high thing right but we're gonna just try five shooter bears right and this guy summons swords and he just throws the swords over and over again boom 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 <laughs> uh, whoops um okay yeah uh how about we do him against the reaper i want to see how he does against the reaper in fact i want to try him as uh where where is it where is it that's right that's right. that's right even the green reaper can't stand up to him um okay so he looks like like with the majority of the characters uh he it looks like he has a minimum engagement distance but or a maximum engagement distance excuse me but in comparison to other uh to the other long range characters like let's say the archer because at least with the archer, you can kind of still shoot. Because the archers, uh, by themselves, they have a a, a, mac, uh, a maximum range distance. However, you can certainly lob the shots. Yeah. That is the most terrifying thing to see. <laughs> see the reaper just come at you. Um, so, it seems like... Okay, it's, it's actually, let's try... Him against the spoke is okay so like I can still technically hit the sword uh, sword mage whatever you want to call him sword caster from a pretty decent clip away and he still has to approach and kill me so that that is his weakness if you can get him on an approach right you can pretty much take him uh, out from a farther distance than him. Um, however, I've been seeing guys do this, and it seemed fantastical. Uh, cheerleaders, just a bunch of cheerleaders, right? Like so. You know what? Give me a second. I'm going to set this up. Okay, so we set up this lactastic battle. We got 80 hot plights here with shields and spirits. And we got uh, a bunch of cheerleaders in the sword maestro. Oh god. Lag. 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 Yes. Yes. Do it. Push him back. Ah. <laughs> oh, the chaos. Okay, let's stop that. Too many people on the field, so I got to cut these numbers effectively in half. Please and thank you. Go away. All of you go away. Like so. Now, go, my sword meister. Kill them all. Oh, whoa. Okay, would never. He is literally freaking out, too. Oh, my dear lord. Um, okay. Let's try that with two sword casters. Right? Like. Look how fast. It's like a freaking machine gun. Unbelievable. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, oh my god. Look how many swords are on, the, like, some of these shields. Oh, dear lord. Alright, we're gonna cut them down even more. Two, ten. Go! Go and attack them! It's his Gatling gun. Look. Oh my god, this guy's horning up. He's being pushed back though. Oh my dear lord. Oh, that's a good screenshot. Wrong button. 
There we go. Oh my dear lord. Look how many. Oh my dear. What the? Look how many. <laughs> oh, that, that is. A, okay, I, I gotta redo this with one shield bearer. I just wanna see how. You know what? We'll do another sword caster. I'm just. My curiosity has been piqued. Let's just say that. And in fact, I will be on the shield bearer side and from a third person's view. Let's see. Oh, God. <laughs> he didn't stand a chance. He got thrown back immediately. Um, okay, maybe not a shit. Maybe a hot plate. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how it is. Okay, come on. Come on, guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh god, I, if I move forward, I'm gonna... Holy mother of lo... <laughs> That's really impressive, I gotta say. I gotta say to that. Um, okay. How about we try them... And you know what? We know the Reaper is uh, you know, not good against distance. However, we're gonna take the Reaper and we're gonna put him against the same f formation. I'll do a five formation, five, like this, like so. Because the Reaper, as I noticed, has a couple of two different abilities. That auto ability where it gouges everybody and then has that lovely cycle ability where he chops everybody in half. So let's just view it from the Reaper's point of view. So we only have one button. But the auto defense feature. Boom, 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 boom. Then, <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you cannot face against me, the Reaper of your demise. <laughs> okay, enough of that. So, that was <laughs> destructive. However, I did notice during the stream that the Reaper is in particularly um, not good against ranged units. Obviously, because it's a more of a standard, you know, close range unit. I'm just going to... I'm. Oh. As you can see, bam. Dead in one shot. Uh, let's try that again. I'm just going to watch. Boom! It look at where the Reaper's cavity is. His it's literally flying away from the body. He's exploding in horror <laughs> on his demise. <laughs> oh man! So we we never actually got a chance to actually uh, try. <laughs> like I know uh, when I was playing during the campaign, we did we did do it. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today here on Command Wolf Gaming. I hope you enjoyed the footage. If you have any comments or suggestions, make sure to leave it down below in the comment section. I want to hear from you guys. And as always, folks, like, subscribe, and share. Spread the love. And I hope to see you next time here on... Command Wolf Gaming! Yeah! Now, now keep, keep your, your hand, hand off that, that mouse, mouse folks. folks. We, we have, have so, so much more fun in the signing content on this channel that, that you guys and guys are missing out on that it's not funny. funny. So, so all you have to do is hit the big red, red subscribe button right, right down below this video. video. Also, also remember, remember to hit the bell, bell notification bell button. You can't miss it. It looks, looks like the Taco Bell bell just without any color. And with doing that, you are officially subscribed to my channel, Commander Wolf Gaming, and will receive notifications on when new material is up on my channel for you guys and guys to view and enjoy. If you like what we are doing, Hit the, hit the thumbs, thumbs up, up button, button. if not hit, hit the, the thumbs, thumbs down, down button. button, but remember to always leave a comment or a suggestion down below in the comment section. I want to know what you think, and I want to hear what you guys and gals want to see in the gameplay, but as always folks, like, subscribe, share, and spread the love, and I hope to see you guys next time here on Come In Wolf Gaming.